everyone. Well, today we're going to do something a little different. We are going to paint a puffin. And these are um, uh, basic, basically uh, silent, but um, type of bird. Uh, they are monogamous. So um, they have, uh, let's see. Let's see what else. Um, they're kind of tame. Uh, they have an upright posture. And um, their eggs are laid in burrows. Uh, they incubate birds and are able to take long breaks and often walk around the nesting ground socializing with other puffins. They um, have a grayish underwing, but we're going to be just doing the top part of the puffin. I have him all drawn out here, and I am going to use my, um, I think it's called Macy, Macy, where? this is gouache. Um, let's see here. Oh, Mia, Mia, can you see that? Mia. Uh, wash these are gels i mean they were kind of dry so i added some water to them we're going to uh, work on a in a um sketchbook today i have uh this sketchbook uh was sent to me by the uh hippie crafter and i just love this because the way it is um like the colors and everything. And the Hippie Crafter sent me some other things that we're gonna be uh, working on shortly too. Not in this video, but uh, I think in the future there, we're gonna take it and see what we can do. So, let's see if I can get us closer. Now it's probably gonna knock my camera out of whack here. Okay, that's not too bad. So the puffin um, has, uh, let's see, the eye is a uh, triangular black line or, okay, it doesn't say what color eye he has. Looks like his eyes sort of like a grayish uh, shade. And his, his feathers up here are black. But uh, the puffin that I'm seeing um, in the book that I'm looking at, uh, his eye looks a little bit like a um, gray. And he, the line that extends out from here uh, is a black line. So, and um, it's sort of triangular up there at the top. And that has like a black line uh, also. But his beak is kind of interesting because it's a red orange color, triangular, and it's surrounded by yellow. So it this area here is sort of gray, but this here area and through here is yellow. So we should have fun with this. Um, I'm going to leave my book out just to see uh, what his colors are uh, in order to make this look more realistic, I'm hoping. Let's see. Um, I have him on some uh, rocks, so I'm gonna I'm gonna paint that a little bit. I'm gonna get the brown in there, uh, get some of that brown, and see, boy, these have really dried out. I hope I can rejuvenate them. Well, as uh, uh, they should be able to rejuvenate because they are um, gel. I'm thinking uh, I would like to use this Put my phone over here and I'm going to shut it off so that we can't hear anything or silence it like that. Okay, so I'm going to take some of this brown if I can. Oh, it's really, it is very, very hard. Let's see if it'll go on here. I don't know. Um, 
where the puffin is standing here. Maybe what I'll do is try to paint this on instead of uh, because of the hardness of the has, I mean the uh, gouache. See if we can paint that on there. We'll wet this a little bit and see if we can kind of move it around a smidge. Now the photo reference that I'm using is from uh, Unsplash. So, um, hope everybody's week went well. I was busy. Uh, I've had, uh, since I started working, I have been very, very busy. So I haven't had much time for fun, <laughs> like painting and other things that I like to do. Okay, I think we're starting to loosen up now with the brown here. Um, so far, so good with the paper. It's not, I don't think it's bleeding through. Yeah, this is real nice. It's easy to work on. I wasn't sure how uh, a sketch like this would work. Um, just kind of testing it out. So over here, there's a little shade of brown also. All right, there's the tab that comes over here. It's part of that. Okay, and then it comes sort of up and through here a little. Can I rinse that out? I'm gonna get some paper towels. Yeah, um, so uh, they usually breed, uh, I guess, um, in North Carolina when uh, breeding season, um, let's see, in winter they are in North Carolina. It says population common but local in breeding season, which I have no idea. It's in Atlanta, where it's at Atlantic Coast, that's all it says. They're usually silent at sea. In flight, they make soft purring sounds. At breeding sites, this bird gives a low growl like R. It can carry 10 or more fish at once. Wow, um, this is gross. Uh, they, they can arrange the fish crosswise in their bill as they are caught and transported the, they transport them transport the fish back to the nest with heads and tails dangling out on either side interesting i thought it was an interesting bird i mean i thought it was something different you know um just kind of neat Let's see now, I wanna get a little bit of a light shade here. Let's see if we can get something light up in here. I'm trying to just get the background in. Um, pull 
for this. And this is just a sketch if I want to decide uh, to maybe paint it later on. I'm going to go into this light here. Um, I can do that. And that's the purpose of the sketch to kind of just give you an idea or give me an idea um, if I want to go in and continue to what maybe do something with this. some yellowish color here. Uh, yeah, it's a shame that these like kind of dry out. I mean, it's in a very intense box, but I guess that's all right. Some things happen like that. All right, let's go back to uh, I need something like a I'll use this, I guess. Something a little darker in through here. Get into the lighter. Oh, this is still wet. Try to get that dark section here. It's a little darker. What I like about this paper is it's not flaking like some papers can do uh it's actually pretty decent so to work with oh sorry probably doing this and you can't even see what i'm doing isn't that just the way it is? I apologize. So we're working on these rocks and you don't even know what I'm doing. Huh. Okay, let's go to some of this now. Let's see if this works. Some yellow in here. Okay, so that has sort of like a pinkish shade here. I'm going to have to get into some of that areas also with the um, bluish shades, which you can't see. Uh, the shades that I'm kind of trying to pick up here.
And um, before that gets dry, I'm going to put a little white in there. Screw my white here. Okay. And just let it run into each other here. This. Okay, so over here, let's see. There's some of this here. So I'm not really concerned too much about this part because I'm more concerned about the puffin and how I'm going to do that. So that's the important part of this. Once that dries, then I'm going to actually get some, um, let's see, get some gold. I'm going to um, use a little bit of, not gesso, but paint, white paint, and just skim it over this. I'll bring it kind of together a little bit more. Okay, so let's see if we can get the sky in. Uh, let's see, I'm going to use a larger brush to wet it. Okay, so this is like my number 12. And um, I'll get some sky in here. Let's see. I'd like to have a nice light bright blue. Skim some in there. Actually, it could be more deep, deeper. There, that's nice. Seems to hold the water quite well. The um. sketchbook which I like you know and I'm I'm actually trying to do a review on this as well 
uh, keeping this all kind of that's nice just to see how it all works together. Just kind of getting this around him because what we want to do is make the background dark enough that we can see the puffin. And I have to be very careful not to get his um, dimensions screwed up. And once again, I have a lot of the picture here. All right, so unfortunately, the camera, unless I make it far away, it's not going to show anything. So I'm not getting real close to his beak because I don't want to mess him up with that. So just kind of water this down a little bit. Now the nice thing about these uh, sheets is you can take them out of here if you like to. And uh, I think that's pretty cool. So right in through here, it's a little darker. It's more of a dark uh, shade. And I'm just going to use a dark green. Um, it's showing like a brown in the picture, but I think this darker green would probably settle off some things too. Just get some of that in there. I guess you can see what I'm doing. Hopefully, I may have to change the angle of that. So I'm going to set it up with some green. And then I'll add some um, brown to it. I'm just getting that a little bit worked in there. I guess this is partially um, some more rocks, but grumpy. Okay, then over on this side here, it's a little bit lighter, more like golden shades. Um, can use some of that. Set off the see if they can merge together a little bit. I'm going to wet this and kind of just let this happen. Let it just flow into it, just like a watercolor. Um, kind of flow. And get that green I was using. Let that flow into that. My main concentration here is the bird. I'm not really concerned about the background that much. 
because it's just a, a kind of like a sketch to see if I want to continue to draw him or her the puffin it gets a little darker oops too or maybe down through here my main concern like I said is the puffin I don't really care too much about I'm just making it flow as best I can. Um, okay, so I see a little bit of stuff happening there, but maybe once it dries, it'll be better. Um, let's hope. Just kind of make that dark. Let it flow. I maybe put too much water into it, you know. This may not be the right surface, but I could have um, gessoed it too, but I didn't want to take the time for that. Like I said, this is just a an idea do I want to continue with this or do I just want to give it up and not worry about it for a smaller painting sometimes it's good to just kind of see how it's gonna work you know for you okay so I want to do his little feet I'm going to get a smaller brush I think I want a round brush here for this. Mini brush. All right. So this one I'm going to use. This one. Oops, sorry. It's a um, bright number two, and I want to work on his little feet, but. Before I do, I want to see, is this dry? Okay. I have this idea. Okay, I'm going to get some of my uh, acrylic paint. And I am going to use my, I can find it. Where did I put it? palette knife I'll use this one it's not going to matter which one I use uh, I would have liked that little other one but okay so I'm going to grab some white yeah, and just kind of skim over these rocks a bit maybe I have too much and I have blue in there, son of a gun. All right, let me get some more of this. In my palette, where I can just use, um, here's a palette knife, one that I want to use. Okay. Before I do his little feet. I'm using the um, white, titanium white, golden fluid acrylic. I thought that this would be the best one to use. This is just the rocks. Um, dip the whole thing in there. Uh, just the rocks, because they are just light. And 
I probably didn't do that very well, but just to get the gist of it, and let's see, can I get some brown in here? Kind of have that come through a little bit more. Okay. Uh huh. Let's see what's this? Kind of rough it up. should be able to mush it up in there. Okay, well that's just similarly how I want it. Uh, it's not the greatest, but it's close anyway. So, shall we work on the poofing now? Let's get the poofing going here. Okay, so his top part is black. All this is black. So I just want to use a tiny brush um because he's he's very delicate and actually i probably should get this part right in here it's a little bit gray kind of a gray shade so we do have gray in our little And we want to get white. So let me dampen my brush. Let me get some of this gray. Now the thing about this bird, which is kind of interesting, is though it's gray in here, it's got this little thing here. I don't know what that is. But I am just, I think it's just the way his little feathers are. So when I do this, I'm doing it very um, light, not lightly, but kind of like stroking it lightly so that it sort of makes it look like feathers, I guess. Now this part I want to be very careful in what I'm doing. It's kind of darker in through here. It's like a shadowy, shadowy thing going on there. What I want to do is get some white in there also. I'm so shocked that this all kind of um, dried out.
My mishaps, that's what they are, mishaps. Okay, so let's get some of this white in here now. nice thing about these um, gel, uh, even though they're dry, they blend kind of nice. Yeah, I think um, it might be better to actually do the bird uh, in acrylic because it's just it's just roughing up the paper. And I know that this is a good sketchbook. It's just not giving me my. Now I want to kind of lighten this up a bit. Just kind of making it look more shady down in here. So that's why I'm going over it a little bit more. I'm going to put a little bit of brown underneath here. So it doesn't look so dark here. I have to have some kind of a connection here. <clears throat> Okay, so now we're going to go into uh, his black part. Um, this is going to take a little bit of work. I think this is black here. I hope so. Uh, think about this. It's kind of smooth looking. It's not Kind of little tail, a little tail there. He's not like a, um, I'm going to get a bigger brush for this. Uh, he doesn't have, <clears throat> it doesn't look like feathery, you know. Uh, this picture that I have anyway doesn't look too feathery.
So we're just going to kind of make them smooth looking. I think that'll work. It actually doesn't look too bad. <clears throat> Anything I don't like is that the paper, but that's my fault because this isn't like a sketchbook that you can paint in. But like I said, this is just a preliminary sketch kind of thing. Uh, sometimes you can do this before you start painting just to get an idea of how things are going to look, you know. Now, the top of his head has a little bit of gray. I'm going to go in my gray here. Just Right in through here. It's gray. And then it goes into the black again. It's kind of very gray like. just blends in there. Then uh, I'm going to add a little white to it <clears throat> just to kind of get that a little lighter so you can tell it's gray. for a little drink. He's starting to look pretty good. I just want to shape up that background a little bit. So I'm going to use my Simply Simmons angle brush here and get some of that blue shade that we had here. Oh, that's really not the shade it was, but kind of like going over this a little bit more. Okay, and then <clears throat> get the yellow ochre kind of blend it out too. Into the This probably would look really cute on one of those little <coughs> ornaments. <clears throat> Maybe that'll, that's what I'll do with this. I'll put it on a little ornament. Um, decide to do that. Just blending it. Just adding water and blending it. These are easily blendable. Some of these uh, can be not blendable. But you can add water to this and then just get it moving around again. Mm 
so grumpy. Moving around all the time. Okay, let's see. It just makes it look nicer with the blending of it while this is drying because <clears throat> it's going to be a little tricky with the rest of this. So, okay. All right. So let's move on to his feet. I like the way this blended in. Uh, that looks pretty cool. I might even go up a little bit more with the gray. Let's see. These are so dry. I bet if I put water on this and then just let them sit overnight under the package, it would be great. Um, just add a little bit more of this up in through here. Then get the white. Have it come around over it. So it's blending in. All right. Okay, so this little piece right here, I'm going to use white. And I guess I can go in with this one. Um, I now I have a little detail brush somewhere. I think that the, the detail brush would be my best bet. Of course, I can't see it. Let's see. This is pretty tiny. Yeah, let's try this here. We'll try this little one. Ooh, these are heavy. These are heavy. All right. Okay. Wait. Uh, let's see, why isn't it covering up? Of course, gouache, it's pretty opaque, but I guess sometimes it just needs to have a little bit more pizzazz here. Okay, so let's get this black, kind of give it one of these. All right, so in here, it's kind of just a little bit gray. Um, so let me see, I'll get my gray again. And it's darker in here. Just kind of putting that in and then what we'll do is put, of course, we're going to put the white in there. Look 
kind of blend it in together. Gives a little bit of dimension there. So let's see. We need a dark gray, but I'm gonna go with black. And then what I'll do is I'll put put white on top of it. But right in here, it's really dark, real dark. Down a little bit. More white. Oops. All right. <sighs> Moving right along here. I noticed something a little off. this here. Okay. All right. <laughs> He's so cute. All right. So a little tough stuff there. All right, so we'll move on to the next part. Um, I think he's coming along pretty good for a sketch. You know, it's uh, the paper's holding up pretty well. It's a little wrinkly. Oops, I got a little bit of the brown over here, but uh, it's not bad. I mean, it's it's doing its job. So that's the important part, without being too uh, buckly and everything. But uh, yeah, so I will continue. Uh, we'll start. We'll work on his eye and uh, I want to get that eye correct because it's um, there's like a narrow part that comes out of there and I want to make sure I get that right um, it could I could put like little feathers here let's see don't know here let's see here if I can do that because it it it's not quite sleek is um, as this picture is showing here just kind of get a couple little things going here to make it look a little bit more and then it kind of goes up like that and then there are some feathers that kind of go through here a little bit Looks like some of these feathers kind of come through here also. So you're kind of getting feathers that come out here. I like that. Okay. So it's not so uh, just getting some of those out of there little feathers okay mm 
Yeah, that's pretty cool. I like that. That's really cute. Okay. Well, I hope you like that. Let, you know, let me hear some comments down there. I'd like to see if you like this. If you'd like to see this maybe on a canvas, uh, you could tell me. Um, that would be great if you could tell me what you uh, decide that you like here. Um, I'm going to go into his little, I'm going to keep this for last because that's a little intense. But I am going to get uh, some of these oranger shades here. Stick into that. Um, so in, in between here, it's kind of dark. So this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to go into the dark. Kind of get these. So maybe what I need is this other little brush here. Just going to go in with this. Oops. So I'm kind of just drawing it actually in there. And then there's some over here. Now it looks like he has these little black toes. Mm. Okay. Uh, it's kind of dark on this part of his leg. And then we're going to go in with the lighter. I mean, it's barely noticeable that it's lighter. Maybe I should go in with a lighter yet. Maybe I don't want to use red. <clears throat> I'm gonna use this color here, this rusty shade, because <clears throat> it is like <clears throat> like a shadowy here, shadow effect. Almost. And it goes down into this. Okay, with that light, lighter one, go into this. Okay, and this is actually kind of light, so let's see if I can lighten that up a bit. Nope. I'll have to wait till it dries a little. And um, these are very dark little toes like. Mm. Yeah, it's his toes. How about that, huh? All 
right. Just kind of lightening a little bit here. Over this with a little bit of white too. He kind of got part of his foot anyway. Okay, so uh I'm going to like finish his uh, other web foot. And then I thought, oh, I'm gonna say, I thought it might be interesting to um, use some markers that uh, they, they sent me these acrylic paint markers to do his area around the face. Cause I'm a little concerned about that eye and uh, clarity, but we'll see how it works here. We'll see. I might have to use like little markers just to get in there correctly because his eye is so, um, it's so, it's just important to get that right, you know. All right, so let's see. I'm going to use my little, uh, what is this, number two again. All right, so, um. It's kind of darker inside this web part here. Okay, and then a certain part is lighter. Um, yeah, right in here, and this is lighter. All right, and then it, it's a little darker up here, so I'm gonna get that more like this reddish shade, put that in there like I did for the last one. Just kinda give it a little bit of color in here. And then I'm gonna go back into the lighter orange. Uh, see, when you uh, add water, it gets, it starts to blend. Okay, now I'm going to go into the real light orange here. Kind of put that off to the side because there is that little bit of orangey shade there. Now I'm going to go in back into my nice brown because I got to get around his little feet, his web feet there. Let me spritz it. I put all that water in there and it still didn't really revive some of these. They're really. I'm hoping you can see here. Okay. All right, 
then I had that lighter brown, like almost a yellow brown there. I think that was, uh, I think I was using, maybe it was this one here a little bit. Then we have to get the um, little toes in there. Darker here. Kind of just blending it in a little bit with some water because you can rejuvenate these, you know. This here, I'm gonna get that a little bit better. I think the brown will help here. The little black pieces in there for this little baby. His little toes. Uh -oh. Got a little bit too much water. This doesn't have anything, but I'm going to put something right there anyhow. But you have to get them in there. Kind of like a nice... Okay. Um. Hello? Okay. Great. Okay. I applied for it and I wasn't sure. Uh, I didn't get it yet, but uh, that might help me along here. So <laughs> to help her uh, sell. Okay. So let's see now. Here. What I want to do, okay, I'm really seeing this how it is sort of gray. I don't know if there's a gray marker in here or if I'm going to have to make a gray. Oh, yeah, there is gray. Let's see. Okay. So each one of these is wrapped. Let's see if I can get it off. Every everything comes wrapped really nicely in cellophane. So I'm just gonna use my craft knife here and take that off so I can get to it. Okay. All right, so they all have to be um, sorted. So let me get a piece of paper. Well, I guess I could use one of these. I'll take it out. It's unfortunate that it got all kind of crinkly, but, you know, it's okay. I'll just take this out and we'll work it to get it. Here, 
cards coming out. Okay. okay, this is very nice. Okay, so the gray, it's in this area here. So I'm just gonna kind of puff it in there. The little puffin. Kind of joins in with this uh, black here, so I'm going to get some of that in there. Okay. This is kind of darker in here. And then it kind of like does get some darkness through here. Just um, kind of just blend it up. Okay, and that's with the gouache that I did that. All right, we've got that part in. Um, now let's go to a yellow. So, shake them up pretty good, I guess. These are nice, they come out very well. So we're going to actually use two different things on this. Yeah, I'm going to get it motivated here. Now I think that these do come out and you can make a uh, thinner one. So that's what I'm going to use. I'm going to turn it around, I think, for the thinner point. Okay, it's out. So right here, there is a yellow line. And because of that being thin like that, that's why I wanted that. Kind of like these pens. Okay, and um, right here alongside of this, it also has a nice bright shade. Okay. And okay, so then we need that orange again. Uh, some orange, which we do have, and I have that already open. And that orange, let's see if this, oh yeah, it's good. Okay, the orange is like in this section right here. So we're just gonna kind of go lightly around his eye. Let's see, orange. And then also, we're gonna put some lines in here with the orange. They come like this. Okay. And we're going to get this coat in here. And this also. But the thing about this now, I have to just kind of, I'm going to have to blend some of that yellow into it. So, let's see here. Can get that. Yeah, there we go, because it's very light here. All right. Now, on my picture um, that I'm seeing here, we have that black line, so I'm going to use a different type of marker. I'm going to use my micro pen markers because they are very thin. And I can get a really nice thin line there. And I'm going to just color his eye gray right here. But we still have like some work there to do. 
Okay. And I want something thin. This is fine. Let's try this three, zero, three. Yeah, that's good. All right. Right in here, it's dark. And then he also has like a little pupil. It's dark. And I've, I'm not sure why. Okay, this has to probably be a little thicker here. That puffin has that line that goes in. It's black. Okay. All right. So let's see here. And it seems as though. It might be outlined here like, like that like that That's high. I think I just put a hole in the paper I went a little too hard okay and I've got to get something like a red in here if it'll work let's see oops I mean I don't want to press too hard here is yellow on the bottom here so let's just get some of that in there okay the details are in that part there so now let's get the brush again a smaller one kind of get that turquoise used yesterday get it around here I think we might have white in there too so I'm going to try to use that for that part there to kind of cover his face here cover the face of this and these are all markers that are um by hippie crafter very nice markers are very nice just taking its time to come through. Okay. Oh, dang. Okay. Let's see if I can get this better here. I think it's the other way. I better do it the other way because this is just more like a brush tip. 
one out. So let's just color this in. And I apologize to the hippie crafter that I used this um, sketchbook for this type of a painting because I should have really not done that. But it, it still looks nice. It still came out really cute. So uh, I'm just going to sign it and date this. Um, normally uh, with this, I wouldn't sign it, but I do like it. And I do think I want to paint it on a canvas because I think it would turn out so cute. So I'm just going to put my name down on the bottom here. Maybe. Oh, my pen must be dead. What is this? Okay, there it is. And this is 20, 23, 3. Okay. Because uh, what, what I like to do is um, for my sketches and things like that that I do in my sketchbooks, um, eventually I'm going to give these to my grandkids so that they have something of mine that I did while painting. And if you have any questions, please, uh, in the comments, uh, be sure to put that in there. Um, I love these uh, gel wash. Unfortunately, I'm not happy that they got like caked up and things like that, I think it would be nice to be able to get them back. I mean, I guess they'll come back with water. I'm just putting it in there again. Um, these are very nice. And I got these on Amazon, actually. So uh, they're very nice. Make whatever this net company is called. Maya, Mia, and the palette locks. So it should be like tight. I'm surprised that at least they didn't um, get uh, moldy because I've seen some people's get moldy. So these these are pretty good. So there you have the puffin, just a little drawing in a sketchbook, which turned out pretty good considering. Uh, it, it's not made for this kind of thing, but I really appreciate uh, the hippie crafter sending me these these things so I can try them and show you exactly not to do this kind of a pit, you know thing. But you know these are sketches; these things are in a sketchbook because of the fact that yeah, we want to put it maybe on a canvas. We want to see how it turned out, and considering that these were just. Um, uh, gouache that turned out pretty good I'm kind of happy with the way it turned out it's very cute so uh, till next time uh, continue to work on art uh, always use your tools that you have uh, use it you know try it in a sketchbook see how it works out for you because sometimes you just will be pleasantly surprised. And I'm surprised at this because I this is making me want to do, do this on a canvas. Which I may do, but I won't probably tape it. Um, it'll be the same thing. You know, on a small canvas, I have those little 6x6 uh, six six canvas. So, with that being said, y'all have a good week. And until next time, bye for me, Mary, the Pittsburgh artist. Bye. Woohoo.